Okay guys, welcome to the workshop. Today we are making a rabbit tractor. This thing is three feet wide, eight feet long, and at three feet I got another piece across right here. This is going to be uh, an inside room and then the yard over here. Uh, chicken tractors, rabbit tractors, stuff like that. It's got to be built quite different here than it would in a northern climate. You get a lot of sun, you gotta have a lot of roof or shade. This thing will be at least three quarters covered with the roof. Uh, it's going to be two feet high and uh, this room will be all, in, all enclosed with the door and uh, the, the top will open and probably insulated. Probably insulation would help anyway to keep the keep the eat out but I'm putting the bottom in rabbits they gotta have a bottom because they dig and I'm gonna use I was gonna use this for all of it but I bought some expanded metal be easier to work with this stuff is a nightmare to weld that's for sure this is quite a bit smaller gauge than what I used on the dog kennel so that might mean it's easier to weld or it might mean it's a lot easier to burn through. So I'm going to try this and uh, see if I can uh, loop this through here and just weld steel to steel. Might be easier. Let's try it. Never tried it before, don't know if it's going to work. It's just an experiment. <laughs> Trying something different. Then I can just weld this to here, to the angle iron in a couple of places. And that should do it. Well, be a lot easier. Well, that's what I came up with so far. Seems to be okay. I think I'm having this a little bit slack so there's some sagging to it. It's a good thing because then there won't be constant pressure on it because these, you know, heavy, heavy rabbits. I think that'll be okay. It's quite the the gap here to try and weld up but uh, still easier than trying to weld this wire that's for sure There's no way I could have done this with uh, the wire I used for the dog kennel. No way at all. That wire is way bigger, way, way stronger. I don't think that'll be a problem, huh? It went on there pretty easy, actually. Once I figured out how I was going to do it, it went on there pretty easy. The next part, the next side is uh, almost twice as long, but it won't be a, it won't be a big deal, I don't think. Okay, bottom done. A bit of sag in it I think about perfect actually that way you can go over a bump you know just 
anytime uh, there's something on the ground or you know my yard's not flat <laughs> it's certainly not smooth which is pretty good but it's plenty tight as well should be okay I don't know what it's going to be like to sit on for the rabbit but you know most people use welded wire or something like that chicken wire I don't think chicken wire is strong enough but that's just my opinion and I can't get chicken wire anyway so it don't matter so now off to do the sides okay here she is so far I look at this thing and I see a giant lobster trap <laughs> but I think it's pretty good good enough for me anyway that's all that really counts uh, the next is to put the sides on this part I'm not gonna make the door any smaller I was gonna put a piece halfway across here but I'm not gonna bother the top I decided the top is gonna be hundred percent covered uh, lots of light will get in through the sides you have to remember rabbits are nocturnal animals and that'll be plenty I'm more worried about keeping out the heat like I'll probably have to insulate some of this maybe the top at least that'll help not right now won't need it right now that's for sure but uh, in a few months when it gets warm again and this is what I'm making the top out of I'm just marking it out here this is expanded metal we're so limited here uh, to what material we can get you know to use hardware cloth that stuff is just crap it's, the wire is so small it's not even good enough for chickens in my opinion <clears throat> I know people would argue with that but uh, you know it's my opinion the stuff that I like like I use for the quail cages is plastic no good for rabbits this stuff is pretty you know it's not heavy duty I could have got it thinner but you know I've got to be able to weld it too and I'm thinking this is going to be hard to cut but really it's not too bad you know I need to cut down through right here so all I got to do is cut here and then cut here you know it's only a, just a few places all the way down the line and it's done not the big deal and the weather sucks again Jeez. there's the rice this is a new batch this arrived in the morning they spread it all out got it dry as soon as it was spread out started to rain not big rain but uh, not rice drying weather that's for sure the other uh, I'll show you the other one this is the one ton that came the other day this is jasmine rice this stuff here was dried at the farm at sticky rice this stuff under here is sticky rice. Sticky rice, you can't, you can't even sell it now. It's worthless. Seven baht a kilo or something, you know. The, the rice places, they don't even want it. So we had to, gotta hold on to it until the price goes up. And uh, who knows when that'll be. On a plus side, harvest is really good this year. Lots of rice, but it's worthless. <laughs> Hard being a farmer, man. <laughs> you can never win. That looks all right, huh? Looking through two pieces, no problem. Hey, that looks pretty good. It's not welded yet, it's just sitting there. The first piece, the one on the far side, it went in, no problem. And this piece on this side, no, <laughs> you see, keep getting hooked in the bottom. So I gotta make the one for the end yet. I was just worried there's not gonna be enough light through there, but that's pretty good, I think. Well, there it is. Actually went really quick. Still need to weld it in. That won't take very long. And I got this piece left. What do you think? Barbecue grate? I think that's a really good idea. Just saying. <laughs> okay guys, done. looks like the silver bullet I put the, the insulation on here just to see uh, 
If it'll make a difference, it should. It really reflects the sun well. It's blinding. Not good for video. But I'll uh, open the top here and show you what she looks like. There she is. Uh, I put the, the plastic on and the insulation last night and I glued it together with the contact cement. And well, the contact cement did not like that plastic. This is like car plastic cardboard, huh? But it just bowled it and bubbled it everywhere. Really, really bad. And it didn't do it until after it dried. It seemed like this. I didn't notice it until this morning. But there she is. Three feet wide. This is three feet, so got nine square feet on the inside. And there's the outside. Expanded middle sides. So so tough here to get any kind of material, you know, anything you can work with. Uh, you know, they don't have it. They have hardware cloth and it's crap. Here's my handle. It came out pretty good. This is a chain. This came off my lights, my workshop lights. I had three short pieces. I hooked them all together and it works. The and I just made a little ring right here out of a piece of, uh, piece of rebar. You can see the glue. Huh? I might need to retop it. We'll see. It's okay for now. But the rabbits are going in today. That'll be a different video for a different channel. But there she is. Uh, problem is now I don't have any grass. <laughs> but they'll have some space anyway and they'll be safe. And I'll have to bring grass to them. Alright guys, well that's it. My rabbit tractor. This is not how to build a rabbit tractor. I wouldn't recommend building it like this. The size is good. But uh, yeah. It's a lot more expensive going this way if you can get better materials. But no wood for them to eat, so that's good. The bottom came out nice, but no grass. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.